All right, here we are. Welcome, friends who may be watching in the future, if I ever actually manage to put this together. I am starting a new playthrough of Dark Souls, and I've got two mods going right now. Um, I've got item randomization, which will hopefully uh, convince me to try using an interesting weapon, maybe. We'll see how that goes, and also a fog gate randomizer, which will mean every fog gate in the game, whether it be to a boss room or the fog gates that appear when you're invaded to cut off certain areas, those will all be randomly connected to each other. So the whole game is kind of like randomized. I don't know where I'm going to end up. Um, so yeah, as for the... Uh, So the the ran the item randomizer is going to also randomize the starting equipment, which actually I would prefer not to have. I would sort of rather just start out as the deprived with his club and his shitty shield, or whatever he is, um, and then go from there. But I don't think that's an option. So I'm just gonna say whatever the deprived guy has that is the equipment I'll start with, that is the person I'll use, and we'll go from there. Um, oh man, I didn't think about what we were gonna name our guy. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna, just gonna go with Harold. All right. There we go. We're gonna be a male character class, deprived. Okay, that works. I'm just kind of curious what else uh, what the other sets here are. Well, he starts out with, is that a club? I don't know, no, that is not a club, that's a spear. All right, deprived for our gift. I think I'm gonna not take the key. So, what am I going to take here? Hmm. Maybe might be a good idea to take the black firebomb just in case you run into a boss early on. I did uh, employ on the fog gate randomizer enemy scaling, so if we run into a really late game boss behind the very first fog gate we go through, it should be scaled down to a level that we can hopefully defeat it. But eh, let's take the fire bombs in case. Let's go for the purple. All right, looking good, looking good. Customize? No, I don't think. Uh, of course it's okay to start with this character. We are ready to go. Alright, there we go. Disconnected from the internet. Looking good. Remains to be seen whether I will actually be able to keep up any sort of commentary as I play or whether I will simply be sitting in silence and this whole microphone thing could be completely irrelevant. Um. But, so what do I have here? Oh, well, I've, I've got good, yeah, broken straight sword. I mean, that's about as close as I can get to what I was uh, hoping to start out with. I mean, Mask of the Mother, what does that do here? Um, oh man, I haven't... I'm gonna have to re-familiarize myself with some of these controls. How do I look at the description? There we go, slightly raises HP. Okay, so yeah, this is a good, like, shitty start that I was, uh, I was hoping for, for sure. Oh yeah, four hits to kill one of these guys. I think, I think this is the way to go. Oh, wait a second, no, we might actually get, uh, you get good items after this, don't you? Eh, let's find out.
don't know whether the controller clicking is going to sh uh, show up on the audio a lot. But, oh well, I'll figure it all out later. Okay, so bonfire. Good deal. Do you have to rest it then? Yeah, I feel like, I don't know. We're a little ways from leveling up still. That is alright. So I don't think there's anywhere we can go here. Yeah, that's closed off. So I guess we just go through the big doors. Okay, so this bit should be the same, I guess. It's going to be... Yeah, Mr. Asylum Demon. Let's see if I can... Yeah, he's still uh, tough as ever. Alright, I don't think me trying to fight him and almost certainly dying is really going to be... entertaining to play or to watch. So, yeah, let's we'll do this. Alright. Get your shield, it says. Did we have a shield? My shield is a broadsword, I believe. Can I even equip that with these stats? I don't know. Where do you even see stat requirements? It's been so long. Oh yeah, 10 and 10. Okay, so sweet. Well, broadsword. Good start, good start. Oh, come on now. Okay, does this have any stabs? No, no, this is... All out slashing and a spear. Okay, so we got a stabby weapon and we got a slashy weapon. Hmm. Alright, 82 damage, 80 damage, so pretty similar damage outputs between these two. can't actually. Alright. Well, I mean, eh, there's, there's something. <laughs> you know what? Why not? Let's, uh, this, this is a legitimate play style, yeah? Okay, we get our Estus Flasks there, because we are about to figure out where the first place we're going is. No, it's fine. I, I unplugged the internet. Don't don't worry about it. I think it's gonna tell us that every time we go through anything. I'll have to figure out to change that setting later. Well this is neat. I love Anne Rolando. Good place to start, I guess. Okay, so these guys should actually, I think, be relatively weak with the scaling. We'll find out. Oh, well, I mean, eh, I still pack a bit of a punch. Yeah, okay. Scale is definitely present, but it's not like he's a pushover. Oh, I thought it was going to slash again. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, there's the second slash. Got it that time. Alright, I think... Change of plans here. Let's unequip this. Yeah. I like that. Just all out. Let's two-hand the broadsword. 
Let's almost die, but not quite. Live to roll another handful of times before ultimately dying. That's the plan. Alright, yeah, I like that. I like that. We don't need that spear. Not now at least. Ooh. Oh yeah, this is this is going alright. Alright. I liked that. That was good. That was good stuff. Alright. Oh, that's right. It says four way rolling. I forgot about that. Ooh, nice synchronized uh, attack pattern there. These guys clearly have uh, trained together for a little while, you know? Alright, this is uh, less than ideal. You guys could break it up a little bit, you know? Because it's gonna take way too many, way too long if I gotta do one little slash at a time against you. Well, unless you just keep missing me. Oh, but I'm hitting the shield, so that's not gonna do me much good. Okay. How about a jumping attack? Yeah, that was pretty good. Alright, well maybe, maybe I'm just going to run past these guys. Oh, I don't think they're going to let me. I wonder if I run through that fog gate, do they, oh, there's no fog gate. Oh, hold up. Yes, there, okay. Okay, let's uh, rest at that bonfire. Give this one more go. Oh, where was the bonfire? You know, if I'm gonna die anyway, I may as well just run out there and die. Then I'll sp then I'll be at a bonfire. Okay. Well, that was a big jump. That was pretty fun. Alright, so I'm just gonna run past this guy. And these guys. Well, they have chests behind them, though. And who knows what could be behind there. Can I get to the chest? Without dying? No. I can't. But I could lure them away. Maybe. Here we go. If I can get them to come over here, and then I run over there, grab what's in the chest. I mean, really though, I got a decent sword, and I got a got a sweet mask. What more do I really need? Well, I say that now. There could be something sweet in that chest, and then I'll uh, reconsider. Okay, basically same plan as before, but start with the luring. If I can get one at a time, I'll fight him, but I just can't do both. Oh, well there you go, I'll fight him. the shield bash. Maybe not my best strategy. But, you know, I thought I'd give it a second try just in case. Alright, little rusty. But, uh... 
you know, we're gonna get there. He's gonna give us a moment. I'm gonna charge back in there. Meet him head on. Oh, now he does the second slash after the stab. Okay, okay. Excellent. Alright, now let's take on his friend. And then we'll go back and get that other one, because I don't like leaving enemies unkilled if I can help it. Oh. Jeez, I didn't know they got iframes when they were doing a jumpy dodges. Or maybe I just whiffed. Looks like I hit him. Alright. Man, he's playing a defensive game. Ooh, right through the legs. That, uh, that worked out pretty well. Alright. Now, finally... Red tight night slab, all right. You know, if we get a, if I decide to go fire enchantment, then in the late game we're pretty well set up. Just gotta get to the late game. I mean, I'm sort of already in the late game with these fog gates, right? There we go. Easy, easy. Can't believe these guys are giving me trouble. Look at that. No problem. No problem. Oh, thought it was done. There we go. Sweet. Alright. Well, let's see. Maybe we can find us a bonfire and get a level or two going. I have missed this game. It's been too long since I played it. Too long. All right, so, oh man, what, so many directions. But this seems to be a good place to start. All right, rest of the bonfire. I almost certainly want to level up, but, what can we do here? Well. Welcome to the Lost City. If you see, exit here. If you want, what follows? Okay. Hmm. What is it? Uh, what am I? If... Okay, so if she's not a merchant. Us. If you require rest. All right. Well, so far so good. I mean, this is the. First branching path of the whole uh, the whole thing here so so far I've got a pretty good mental map of what's happening I think that will quickly devolve into utter confusion as I continue onward but that just makes it more fun right I don't think the broadsword is too broken a weapon to start with, right? I mean, it's, it is really good. Um, I mean, it seems like something I could really stick with for a while, but... I mean, I didn't get something too crazy, I don't think. Didn't get, like, the, uh... What was it? The, the one that you chop off of that dragon on the, uh on the bridge. That was definitely how I got through a huge chunk of my first playthrough of this game. Ah, oh, damn it. 
Okay, let's uh, back up a bit. Take a couple swigs. No, just one swig, I guess. Meant to do two, but that's fine. Oh, jeez. Here we go, here we go. Ha. All right. Man, every chest is so exciting with the randomizer on. It's like, who knows what could be in here? It could be anything. Oh, hello, Smo. Oh boy, a sorcery. I'm probably not going to be casting any spells. Oh shit. I realized just at the last second, I was like, oh, chain is forward. Alright, well. Now I remember. So it's all good. I forgot to level up though. That was dumb of me. I need to grab those and get a couple levels. Get this uh, this endurance cranked, I think, is one of the first things I'm going to go after, unless we find a really sweet weapon that I want to level up in particular. So let's... Uh... Yeah, let's level up now. Okay. Here we go, level up. Attunement. Okay, I can already attune one spell, but I don't have anything I could cast that spell with as of now. I mean, endurance is pretty good. Okay, well, dumping one strength at least to get that three damage increase is probably worth our while. Alright, I think for now, looking like one strength, one endurance, two endurance. I think I like that. Because I like to roll. I like to roll a lot. Let's lure these guys out one at a time again, and then we're gonna fight a mimic instead of get eaten by a mimic. I think that's just the golden fog gate over there though and I did not include those in the randomization because I don't know it wasn't enabled by default on the mod and I figured the default settings are probably the ones that uh, whoever made it you know sort of tested thought it would be the optimal gameplay so I figured I'd just stick with that Oh, shockwaves. You know, you can, you can dodge the shield bash, but you gotta watch for the aftershocks of the shield bash, apparently. I forgot how surprisingly nimble these guys are for how large and heavy they look. They're pretty cool. There we go. Ooh. Eye of Death. I didn't think about that. I guess the enemy drops would be randomized, huh? I don't think they normally drop that. Alright, why don't you come out this way? Kinda nice that you can't hurt me while I'm down. Get the stagger. Quick Estus. Get hit. All part of the plan. There we go. I do think the scaling was a good good choice, because it's fun to be able to fight things, you know? I wouldn't want to be stuck having to run past all of the enemies in the first several areas I happen to go through. Ah, shit. 
Alright, here we go. He's almost dead. Okay. Now one question I've got, I imagine that all of the enemies of a certain type probably are scaled to the same thing, so... Like, if I see the same type of enemy twice and I meet them early on, then even if I see them again in the late game, I'm guessing they're still going to be weak. But uh, I guess we'll find out. Maybe not. Okay. Mimic number one. So this could determine. Since I found a mimic so soon, maybe they're all going to be relatively weak. That'd be a good one to test it with. I can try to remember how... how many... how much damage this guy took, and then uh, compare it to mimics we see in the future, since those are scattered throughout all of the areas. Alright, what do we got here? Ooh, greatsword. Never really been a fan of the heavy weapon style of play, and I'm sure I can't wield this yet. Twenty-eight. Just a bit short on that. How short, though? Like, how does the dual wielding work? Is it like, if you have half the strength, you can wield it? I don't quite remember. I'm not two-handed. What is that doing for me? Anything? Oops. If I two-hand it, where am I at? No good, no good. So if my current stats are strength of 12... Oh yeah, I'm not even half, anyway. So we can test it when I get to half. And maybe I'll try it out. And that would be a new playstyle, I guess, for me. But I like rolling. I feel like the great sword doesn't necessarily go well with the rolling. Dagger. What about a big swing? Alright, we got it. it. Doesn't have more than two hits left. Ah, dang it. Always with the back swings. There we go. Sweet, sweet. Alright, so I think I am gonna start pumping strength just to see if, uh, because we can wield that at 14 strength. I think that's pretty well worth it. But if it takes more, like if if your strength only counts for 50% more or something like that, then I don't know if I'm going to go that far into it just yet. Alright, so that has to wait. We will, luckily, once we do get the, what do you get, get the Lord Vessel or something? Anyway, once we get to that point, uh, it should be easy enough to find our way back to that one. Though... I don't know how much that really matters, to be honest. I guess we'll find out. Because, uh, I guess the fog gates could link to other fog gates that are behind that gate anyway, right? So, but so far, we've got a pretty linear progression. I don't really have to keep too much of a map in my head other than late game, we gotta go there. But I guess we're just going down the stairs over that away. So, only one way to go. 